Welcome to Easy Deploy YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to set up Jenkins CI CD pipeline to automate build and deployment for ECS. What is covered in this video? We will be seeing what is Jenkins? How to set up CI CD pipeline to automate build and deployment through Jenkins for ECS. Use cases. Our client utilizes a React.js application deployed on ECS. The application's code resides in Bitbucket. We aim to leverage Jenkins pipelines for automating the build and deployment procedures. To accomplish this, we followed the steps outlined in a corresponding instructional video. Should you require help in performing this step? Please feel to contact us in the email mentioned. Contact at easydeploy.io. Prerequisites. AWS account. AWS account with ECS and ECR full access. Basic knowledge about Jenkins. What is Jenkins? Jenkins is an open source automation server used primarily for continuous integration and continuous delivery pipelines. It allows developers to automate the process of building, testing, and deploying software applications. Here's how it works. Developers commit code changes to a version control system like Git. Jenkins monitors the version control system for changes. When changes are detected, Jenkins pulls the code, initiates the build process, and runs automated tests. If the build and tests are successful, Jenkins can deploy the application to various environments, such as development, staging, or production. How to set up CI CD pipeline to automate build and deployment through Jenkins for ECS. Search for EC2. Here I already created an instance with Jenkins installed. Go inside the instance and click Connect. Now click Connect. Type sudo su to switch to root user. Now we can check if the Jenkins is active or not. Type the following command to check if the Jenkins is active. You can see our Jenkins server is active. Now we should configure AWS credentials in Jenkins. Type the following command to switch to Jenkins user. Now type AWS configure. I already given the access key secret access key and region. If you don't have these keys, create an user and attach the ECS and ECR full access and create access key. Check the description for the commands which I used in this video. Search for ECR. I have already created an ECR repository and pushed an image to this repository. Search for ECS. Here you can see I have already created an cluster and service. Go to EC2. Go inside the instance which we created. In security group, we should enable the ports which are shown in the video. Copy the public IP of the instance.
paste here with port 8080 and open the Jenkins server. I already logged into the Jenkins server. If you are new to Jenkins, you need to configure the credentials in order to log in. Click on Manage Jenkins. Click on Plugins. We need to install the necessary plugins. Click on Available Plugins. We should install the following plugins which are shown in the video. Click on Install. After installing the plugins, we should restart our Jenkins. After restarting, we should give our login details to log in into the Jenkins. Go to the dashboard. This is the React.js source code we are going to use. Click on the repository settings. Scroll down and click on webhook. Click add webhook. Give the title of the webhook which we are going to create. In URL, we should give the Jenkins URL. Copy the Jenkins URL. Paste here. Next, we should generate a secret key. Click on Generate Secret. Click Save. Now we have successfully created a webhook for our Jenkins. Go back to the Jenkins. Click on New Item. Enter the item name. Here I am selecting pipeline as we are doing pipeline in this video. Click OK. In general, enable GitHub project. In project URL, we should give the repository link where we have the source code. Copy the link. Paste here. In build trigger, enable build when a change is pushed to Bitbucket. Paste the repository link here. Now enable poll SCM. This means that we can use it as periodically at a particular time. In Pipeline Definition, select Pipeline Script from SCM. In SCM, select Git. Paste the repository URL. I already uploaded the credentials, so I am selecting that. If you don't have credentials, click on Add. Here you should give the username and password of Bitucket. Here I am changing the branch to main as we are working in main.
script path should be Jenkins file. In poll SCM, five asterisk symbol indicates to poll on every minute. Click apply and save. Now go back to the repository. We already created in Docker file. This is the Jenkins pipeline which we created. Do not worry, we have provided the repository link in the description. Go back to the Jenkins. Click on Build Now. You can see that building the pipeline is started. Our pipeline execution is completed. Go to the ECS console. Go inside the task. Our task is in pending state. Go inside the task. Copy the public IP of the task. Now browse it. You can see our React.js application is running. Now we can change the source code and let's see if it is automatically triggered or not. Click Commit. Go to Jenkins Server. Here you can see it automatically triggered the pipeline. Go back to the ECS console. Go inside the task. This is the newly created task. Go inside the task and copy the public IP. Now browse it. You can see that it automatically triggered the pipeline when we changed the source code and the content is changed. Conclusion We have seen What is Jenkins? How to set up CI slash CD pipeline to automate build and deployment through Jenkins for ECS. Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, implementing, and managing their environment with AWS best practices.